Hi, I'm Alexandra Vlahakis, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to light up an LED light with a Raspberry Pi. The supplies that you will need is a breadboard, two wires with a male and female pin, preferably red and black, black for ground and red for positive. You will also need an LED light, such as this one, no more than three volts of electricity. The Raspberry Pi only emits five volts, so if you go too high, you will burn your Raspberry Pi. Other kinds of LED lights might look like this, or they might look like this. They're fairly cheap, about a dollar to two dollars at Radio Shack, or you can order them online. Now that we've gathered all of our supplies, let's assemble the Raspberry Pi to light up an LED light. The Raspberry Pi has an area that's going to allow electricity to flow and for that we're going to use the red cable. I'm going into the third pin of the pins that are coming out of the Raspberry Pi. I'm then going to use the black cable to represent ground cable and I'm going to put it on to the last pin of the Raspberry Pi. If you notice this last pin is closest to the SD card. This red pin or this red cable is actually closer to the area where I have my audio and video areas. I'm going to then take my black cable and put it into my breadboard into the blue area to simulate the ground area. And then I'm going to take my red cable and I'm going to put it into the red section of the breadboard. The way the breadboard works is that this area here flows directly straight and this area here flows straight also. But when you get to this section of the breadboard, the breadboard actually flows sideways. We're going to actually connect the black to the blue area of the Raspberry Pi and we're going to connect the red to the red area of the Raspberry Pi. And then I'm going to take the little jumper cable and I'm going to connect it to this area of the Raspberry Pi. And then I'm going to take a red jumper cable and I'm going to connect it to this area of the Raspberry Pi but making sure I go into the red area of the breadboard. So now I've got my ground connection here and I've got my positive connection here and now we're ready to connect the LED light. Notice that the LED light has two different lengths. The one that is longer is actually the negative one that's going to be connected through the gray wire here and the one that is shorter is actually the positive side that's going to be connected through the red area here. I'm actually going to disconnect my power for a minute here to make sure that I don't burn my Raspberry Pi, but I'm going to connect the long one to the same line that has the gray area and I'm going to connect the red one to the small end of the LED light and now we're ready to actually give it power. So I connect my black cable to the area where my little jumper gray cable is and then I connect my red cable to where my red cable is and there we go. And now we have light. Now that we have made the LED light up, we are ready for tutorial number two, which is to get the GPIO software to allow the Raspberry Pi to tell the LED light to blink. For more information, please visit my website.